Me minor. <laughs> That's right, I've been watching me minor. He's been tumbling rocks. So have I. <laughs> Thank you, me minor. God bless you, buddy. Peace, baby. <laughs> anyway, uh, I've been letting these guys uh, tumble uh, for, um, I don't know, about 10 days now. I tumbled them for a few days, but then I was studying a little bit of stuff that me minor was doing and I realized I was filling them up a little bit too much and a couple other things adding uh, you know some of the ceramic uh, you know material even in the first uh, grind but I shouldn't do that like I said I tumbled them for uh, a few days uh, a little bit too full uh, basically took the material out uh, added it appropriately somewhere between half and about two-thirds um, and of course put in uh, some of that stuff there 36 grit uh, silicon carbide and of course 36 grit uh, is the coarse stuff uh, you know kind of like corresponding to like uh, you know sandpaper you know, 36 is real coarse you know 200 or whatever is a lot finer so anyway I'm gonna clean them up here and we can see what they look like <laughs> Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Okay. Well, got these here. This one. This babe off here. It's got a little bit of plastic fluff on it. Let's see what we got, huh? I'm like an expert at this. This is like about my fifth time opening these things. <laughs> yeah, I have no expertise at this stuff. Come on now. It does take your fingernails though to get them. I can tell you that. There we go. I use a, it's a real fine screen mesh because I want to see how much of the, uh, of the grit is remaining. You know, if it's all totally fried or if it's got some, uh, if it's got some grit remaining still. A little water involved here. I'll just put a tiny bit on this. Yeah, that should be enough. Get our smidge clean. I'll dump these guys out, see what we got. Mmm, they're pretty round looking. They're definitely rounder than what they was. I'm going to definitely go with... Uh, a finer grip this time so I gotta make sure this dude is washed out perfectly that's one of the things I learned too is uh you know wash everything perfectly because otherwise you have a couple of grits of the uh you have know, like 36 this was done with 36 grit but uh oh, that's pretty cool look at that it's a nice uh quartz uh a little, yeah, a little quartz conglomerate or whatever you know but uh smoothed off pretty nice Kind of pretty. Yeah, I used rocks that, that I had here. You know, I didn't go out and really search for anything too special. I robbed a few from around the pool and uh, a few of the stuff that I had. Well, this one was kind of interesting. Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what it looked like, but uh, certainly is round now, huh? That's right. It's kind of cool looking. I like this one because this was, uh, had a nice little piece of quartz in it. I still see some of the quartz, of course. It's got some nice little stringer quartz veins running through it. You know? Kind of be cute. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, metal basically. You know, some uh, sulfides or whatever. Looks like a little bit of silver actually, almost by eyeball. Who knows? Anyway, pretty little fella. This one here I thought was going to come out pretty cool, and it, it does look pretty cool. Yeah, it's got the nice little quartz vein like in a circle here you know there's a quartz vein running through here but the rock broke off like that and uh see that's gonna look pretty freaking killer hopefully you can see that good it's got tons of little stringers through it it's a cutie man that's gonna look pretty pretty slick when she's totally polished this one had uh i think a bunch of iron yeah see, this one had a whole bunch of iron in it and uh, you can still see kind of uh, the iron 
uh, vein in there, you know, and a couple other little streaks of iron. The whole thing is a lot of iron. It's kind of red colored, orangey colored. Anyway, it's a pretty cute little guy. This one here looks pretty cool. Let's look at this one. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. Too bad. Not as pretty as some of the other ones, but this is my first time. I'm just experimenting kind of, you know. Yeah, I don't see too much grit remaining. I think I I ground that silicon carbide to smithereens. This one's kind of cool, right? It's got the nice little square pieces of uh, quartz in it or something there. I think it's quartz. It looks like quartz. It's going to be a pretty little guy. Pretty strange looking, but pretty. Oh yeah, this one looks kind of cool. Let me look at this guy. Yeah, see that was another kind of mostly quartz piece. Looks kind of pretty. Yeah, you know you're a rock idiot when you're polishing rocks out of your out of your driveway or something, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of a rock idiot, that's for sure. But I'm certainly grateful to me miner, that's right, for his uh, expertise. And polishing these things because that made a big difference using his technique these things are looking pretty good oh this is a cutie look at that nice little pieces of quartz all through this thing isn't that pretty it's gonna look kind of cool hopefully you're saying yeah prospector trip that's really pretty <laughs> instead of like <coughs> you suck <coughs> you got nothing boy this guy here, this one was really gnarly, and it's kind of smooth now, but you can see a bunch of gnarly cracks and vugs in it and everything still. But I was hoping, and it's starting to look pretty cool. That's right, that's pretty cool. I'm going to still run that one, uh, not with some of the stuff that I think will get real shiny, because it's got so many holes in it, it's bound to have some grit in there somewhere, and uh, that'll turn out bad if I'm trying to polish other things. So I'll probably play with it in the core section for a little while more. Yeah, a big old dog. It's got a bunch of interesting features. It should polish up pretty. This guy here had a whole bunch of uh, iron in it too. It was uh, kind of like an iron stone, you know, a real black hard stone, but it has quite a bit of iron in it. You can see a bunch of it kind of remaining right there, but the whole thing's kind of reddish looking. You probably can't tell. But uh, it's got a lot of iron in that one. It's a lot smaller, I can tell you that. <laughs> this thing here is real small. I, I was wondering if this thing would just disappear because it's uh, a lot softer rock. You can see it's all porous. And of course, it's just getting smaller and smaller. It's never going to probably polish up because it's, you know, it's like a pumice stone or something. It's light. And uh, anyway, it's, it's going to disappear, likely. This is almost a piece, I think, of that same stuff. It's actually, this one's getting kind of smooth looking. Anyway, that's one of them. It's pretty good. Not too much grit remaining, that's for sure. You know, I'm gonna put them all in here because I wanna sort them all out eventually. And uh, I'm gonna put them all in there, wash them off, then I'll show you what we got. Peace, baby. All right. Now for the big reveal, baby. Let's see what these things look like, okay? There's the ones I just cleaned off, but there's the ones I did not. Here's the reveal. Oh my gosh. Look at them. <laughs> Let me dump out some of this water. We got too much water in our pan. There she goes. Hi, hi. Woohoo, look at them, man. Look at that. That piece of quartz, isn't that pretty? Pretty cute looking little guy there. I was hoping these guys would come out good because they had a lot of cool and interesting looking features to them. Yes, it does. Pretty little guys. I was hoping it'd come out kind of smooth because it's different material, you know, quartz. And then, of course, uh, you know, there's some silver in there, I'm sure. And uh, anyway, it's got a whole bunch of softer material, it looks like to me, by eyeball. 
That's a pretty little guy. Look at that guy. This little piece of quartz. Kind of all is red. Probably, uh, you know, iron in there, you know, rusting. But pretty little guy, huh? Oh, that one's real nice. Look at that one. I like that one real well. Whoo! Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do like those. It's like almost an arrowhead. Ah, he got me. Okay. Well, that's a pretty guy. That's a pretty little fella. Oh, it's going to have all kinds of cool little features in it. We'll make a ring out of that, right? Here, honey, here's your ring. It's a Fred Flintstone ring. <laughs> get that thing out of my house boy what's wrong with you oh, that thing's like all iron i'm surprised it came out that smooth already it's like real porous too i thought it would uh disintegrate more than anything there's a kind of a pretty little guy let's see it one. oh yeah pretty little fella let's see there's a couple that are this guy here i was wondering how she would turn out i thought it might disintegrate a little bit and it's getting pretty smooth looking, but it's not going to get real smooth, it don't look like, because it's too soft, maybe. But I like all the, you know, all the layering, you know. Yep, a sedimentary rock, right? Sediments keep building up, you know, and then a pressure, whatnot, you know, eventually heat and make a rock out of it. And there's all the sediment layers. Very pretty. About running out of my water here. Yeah, that's so pretty. A little bit of interesting looking shapes and designs in there. Not quite so pretty. Well, there's another one with uh, ones with iron in it, but it's a uh, real heavy stone, you know. And of course, it's got a bunch of leftover grit on it. As I run out of water, I gotta go get my other bucket. Ooh. Oh, see, that's what I wanted to... Oh, that's what I already showed you. I already showed you that one. What's wrong with me? Let's get here. Might look pretty good. Let's see if we can get a better rinse on them somehow. That didn't help. <laughs> okay, I gotta get some water. Okay. Water deluxe now, baby. on them. Now we'll take a look. That's, that's kind of interesting. It's not getting smooth though. It might be too soft or maybe too much differing uh, rock uh, you know densities and hardness. Anyway it might go smooth. Who knows? Who knows? A nice little yellow green stripe in that one. Anything else of interest here? Let me see. That might be good. Yeah, kind of. A few little pretty stripes going through it. Another hard one that may or may not come out nice. Well, it might be alright once she's real shiny. Hmm. Well. It's another one of those heavy iron, uh, you know, and it's a little bit not quite as hard. So it may not polish either. I don't know. I'm an expert at this, of course, as you know. I was going to give you a piece of baby and that was it, but I got to show you my ugly face. Hey, uh, <clears throat> another thing I learned from me minor is this, is that once your rocks are to the stage where they're fairly good after stage one you know the real coarse grit and you want to get to the next level uh, that even you rinse them off good you rinse out your container rinse everything really good he puts his back in the container uh, with basically no grit or anything just water and uh, he runs it for a while and uh, I think it just depends you know probably half hour an hour would be enough you know to knock out any grit but I'll run it for a little while maybe until tomorrow morning and then I'll rinse these again and add the new uh you know abrasive compound you know the silicon carbide uh, you know i think it's 150 something like that and uh anyway it's a lot less than uh you know that 36 grit 
So that'll be the next step. You gotta wash them and then wash them again. And that's his secret, which is now my secret. <laughs> All right, baby. Hey folks, prospector trip. It's the next day and I'm following the master, me miner. So I spun these things overnight uh, with nothing in there, just water. And of course I washed them off for a good before that, but you can see how dirty the water is uh, already, right? So, yeah, oh, that's probably too hard. I'm sure me and mine are be having a fit. You dumped them out too hard, you might chip one. Oh. Anyway, got to rinse everything out super good. And uh, just like I did that one. That one looking good there. But yeah, I'm gonna rinse them off. I'm gonna run, uh, I think it's 150 or 180 grit. I can't remember what the next one is exactly, but I'll show you shortly. And yeah, pretty good now, huh? See nothing in there. Make sure there's no hidden grit feeling stuff. Nope, seems okay. Seems all right, baby. She good. Now, these guys here, of course, they're starting to look pretty smooth. But yeah, we're gonna run them. We're gonna run them and make them real shiny and smooth. It's got a couple little cracks in it. Hopefully, it doesn't come apart. We'll see. There's that one. I don't know if this will polish or not. It seems like it's got some really soft material in between the striations there. Or whatever, you know. Anyway, we'll see. Get rid of some of that dirty water. Yeah, so we're going to spin these babies for another week once we get some grit in there. And see what happens. I see they're going to look pretty. That's right, these are the ore spinations. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that one might be a little bit screwy. Feels kind of feels kind of like it might fall apart. Hopefully not. Yeah, well, we'll see. We're we're still learning, so we'll chalk it up to the learning. I think I got most of the chipped and you know cracked ones that look like they're gonna come apart and have sharp edges to scratch the other stones. But oh, that one's pretty. That one's gonna be good. Right, if you like that kind of stuff. <laughs> this big guy here, he's starting to show some interesting stuff too. Oh well, we'll put some grit in there. Look at that big guy, black, big heavy ironstone looking thing. Anyway, here's a little guy. And yes sir, that's how we do it. The double rinse method. Just like me miner taught us online, woohoo. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah. See, there's a little grit in there. I can feel a little bit of grit in there. So yeah, something came out of there. That's good. So as we're learning, should be doing pretty good. All right. Good to go. So yeah, a little bit of water, a little bit of grit. We'll have it, baby. Sure. Squish it too much. Something like that. All right, let's try it. Peace, baby. Okay, folks, I cleaned my second spoon really well. First one's a little too greedy for this 100 grit, the abrasive armory. I'm pretty sure that's where I bought it. <laughs> anyway, give it a few scoops and uh, that's what we'll do. Okay, I got my 100 grit open here. It's give it three nice heaping tablespoons. That's what I've been kind of doing. That seems to be quite a bit and enough. I'll spill it all over the place. I hope not, not too much. There we have it. Seal these babies up and we'll get them spinning. Peace, baby. Okay, guys, got them all wiped off. Uh, it's another thing me miner talked about, you know, wiping things off, keeping it clean. Uh, it only makes sense, you know, you don't want to wear things out extra quick or have a big dirty mess. It's already dirty enough as it is. Anyway, these guys over here have been spinning overnight too. And uh, one of them's got some uh, gold ore in there, uh, you know, some concentrates. Uh, and I'm beating it down a little bit there. And uh, if there's any sulfides that are holding gold, it should uh, 
it should beat the snot out of it and then we'll we'll deal with it and melt it or whatever we're gonna do all right yeah peace baby <laughs>